My name is Mohammed Delwar Hussein. I am one of the authors for this paper, Formulation and Evaluation of Mixed Polymeric Micelles of Quercetin for Treatment of Breast, Ovarian, and Multidrug Resistant Cancers. Quercetin is a natural compound. It has many pharmacological activities, but one we are interested in, it has anti-cancer activities. And it's, it, the mechanism for its anti-cancer activity, one of them is interfering pathways involved in cell survival, apoptosis, cell cycle progression. There are some problems with administering quercetin. If it is given orally, it has a very poor bioavailability. Also, the quercetin is very poorly water-soluble, very hydrophobic. So giving it in a nano-delivery system, such as micelle, will enhance this anti-cancer activity and also will be easier to administer for this anti-cancer activity. The objective of this work is to form was to formulate and optimize stable micellar formulation and do the physiochemical characterization and find out the anti-cancer effect of these micelles in breast and ovary and cancer cell lines. The initial formulation we uh, selected by using Vox Vanken experimental design. The micelles were prepared by thin film hydration method. We did the physiochemical characterization by determination of particle size, jeta potential, drug loading, and capsulation efficiency critical micellar concentration. We also did the in vitro drug release from these micelles. The in vitro cytotoxy study was performed in MCF7 and MDMBA231. These cell lines are breast cancer cell lines and also in ovarian cancer cell lines, SKOB3 and NCI ADR cells. NCI ADR cells are also multi-drug resistant cancer cell line. We found that uh, to obtain lyophilized dry solid product, we need the poly pluronic polymer P407. The optimal initial drug loading was 10%. Two, for two formulations were selected, which is opti optimum, was P123 mixed with P407, 7 to 3 molar ratio, which we call here A16 formulation, and the other one is P123 and P407 together with TPGS in 7 is to 2 is to 1 molar ratio, we termed this formulation A22. Uh, for formulation A16, we see the particle size before lyophilization is 25, and after lyophilization is 37, so there is increase in the particle size. The data potential of these particles were negative 12, around negative 12. The quercetin loading was around 9% and encapsulation efficiency was around 90%. In in vitro cytotoxicity studies, quercetin had an IC50 of 167 micromole in the breast cancer cell line MCF7. And when we use the A16 and A22 micelles, the IC50 was decreased. So this tells these micelles are more effective, four times more effective for uh, killing the cancer cells. Similarly, in MDMBA231 cells, the IC50 of quercetin is 157, but when we administered this quercetin, uh, in this formulation A16 and A22, the micelles also reduces the IC50 almost four times. So they are more effective in killing these cancer cell lines. For ovarian cancer cell lines, SKOB3 and NCIMDR cell, we see similar pattern here. The IC50 of quercetin is 23, which is decreased by half by this two polymer formulation, micelle formulation, A16 and A22 to 11 and 10. It is interesting to see in the NCIMDR cells, which are 
um, multi-drug resistant cells. The IC50 of only quercetin is 320 micromole. And then when we treat them with this two micelle formulation, we see the IC50 is approximately 71. So this is also proving that the polymer, polymeric micelles are decreasing the IC50. That means they are more efficient in killing the cancer cell lines. So in conclusion, we can see this prepared mixed micelles containing quercetin are having a small particle size. They sustain the release of quercetin and they have better anti-cancer activity than the pure drug. So further studies are needed to evaluate the potential of these micelles and also to see their use in the treatment of breast, ovarian, and multiple multi-drug resistant cancers.